Are you alright there ladies and gents? How's it going? I'm out on my tow rag. Why? A prettier Touareg 660. What a wonderful little beast it is. It's a glorious, glorious day. I've got the day off work and I'm going to go off and find myself some noms. Heading down to Lumi's Motor Cafe and uh, hopefully have an adventure either on the way or on the way back. Brilliant stuff. Keep that bike from a little while ago I ordered uh, new chain and sprocket kits for my beta so I'll be fitting that soon and that will be uh, meaning I'll be able to get out on that bike again as well which will be awesome fun I haven't really ridden it very much this year because of getting this little baby I very much love this little baby but it's a bit of a chunk of lard <laughs> um, yeah when I first started riding this I was so in love with the bike I thought I'd possibly be able to get rid of the beta and just have this because it is so very capable but I found out very quickly or at least not as quickly as I probably should have done that oh, I am not a very good off-road rider <laughs> I'm average at mediocre probably at best uh, <laughs> um, I mean yes I've been doing it a little while now so I've got a bit of experience but I haven't got any experience on a big bike like this and I know a lot of you might call this uh, a little bike because you do off-roading on big BMWs and stuff like that but you're crazy <laughs> and I'm not quite that crazy so yes this is a very big bike for me um, I can barely touch the ground on it and uh, I, I will continue to green lane it I very much will but I've also got to build up my ability a little bit more before I think that I could potentially get rid of the enduro bike and just keep uh, an adventure bike for for shenanigans um yeah yeah i think it's wise and uh, i don't heal as quick as i used to so every time i fall off and screw myself over it leaves dents in me <laughs> so getting the beta back on the road will be brilliant 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 fun and uh yeah yeah i've also with the um chain and sprocket kit i've got for it changed the gearing so it will be even worse on the road as I've uh, lowered the gear ratios a little bit to make it a bit perky um, or a bit more perky rather I seldom use the full power of the motorcycle um, because it starts going too fast too quickly on the green lanes where we're not really supposed to be going hell for leather I know they're technically a 60 mile an hour limit on most of them but I think that's a tad irresponsible as someone that has to share the lanes with horses and dog walkers and all that sort of stuff now I don't give a monkeys if I upset people that just get upset by us green lane users on motorcycles because they just haven't got any tolerance for anyone doing things other than their own way they want to but I do respect everyone else that respects us and yeah yeah so um, I thought that dropping the gearing will mean I'll be able to use more of the power of the motorcycle while off-road because it'll all be closer to the speeds I ride at anyway so I thought it made more sense I've got a whole engine that I'm not using on that bike effectively with the way I've been riding it up until now it will mean that I have to be a bit more meticulous on uh, getting the bike serviced and stuff like that but to be honest I over service it anyway I, I, I change the oil and clean the filter way more often than uh, the book says um, pretty much so uh, yeah yeah something I also got when I ordered the chain and sprockets kit was a motocross jersey for wearing over the top of my Knox uh, summer armour um, yeah yeah it is all groovy baby it's groovy groovy Got custom logo on it and uh, yeah it's it's kind of awesome I'm really quite pleased with it I'll show you some photos of that and now so as you can see I'm definitely definitely living up to my hippo name um, yeah getting a bit podgy there it's all in the belly I like my beer too much that's my problem <laughs> Oh, why is there all this traffic? You smelly people, go away. They listened, they are going. And we're a free range hippo once more. Free! Earlier on, I discovered off camera that this bike is so much better than me. Um, 
backing up my uh, thoughts earlier on saying that this bike is far better than I am off-road it's also far better than I am on-road as well as uh, yeah yeah the ABS on this got a, a got a workout um, I think I'd have been off with these knobbly tires if this bike didn't have ABS I completely misjudged the situation entirely my fault and yes uh, yeah I had a slam on the anchors um, fortunately I wasn't going fast but I was definitely going fast enough to overpower the knobbly tires and the ABS cut in nicely and did its job and I didn't die and it's always nice not dying when you're going out for lunch because quite often that means that you miss lunch I remember when ABS was sort of first introduced as an idea for motorcyclists and I think some people still feel the same about it now um, they were so anti it they were like oh I can brake better I can brake better than ABS I'm better than a computer and quite possibly in the early ABS on motorcycles there was an element of that there were some people who were better at it than others and uh, some systems that were worse at it than others so uh, back then I could possibly see an argument for it but these days absolutely not certainly not on uh, sort of the main the big manufacturers I'm not sure about the Chinese ones just at the moment but then I think uh, a lot of them are using sort of link brakes and stuff like that rather than uh, ABS what have you and I'm definitely not a fan of link brakes I think that's a stupid idea I do see why some people are anti all the technology though I very much love riding my GSX R750 that doesn't have ABS it doesn't have traction control okay yeah it's got um, three rider modes I think you've got this full-on one you've got a tamer one and a rain mode or something like that I don't know um, to be honest I've never used any of them other than the full power mode the right wrist as the meme goes is my power mode although they say that about their uh, traction control don't they but um, yeah yeah I do kind of get why people are a little anti the technology side of things because they make these motorcycles unserviceable if anything goes wrong with those systems you've got to go back to a dealership you can't do it yourself um, unless you've got a, a degree in computer science and programming and all that stuff and I know that if anything goes wrong with this it, it will basically down the bike it will mean that we'll have to take it to the dealership because yeah it's all electronics on it it's all electronics I do apologize if the wind noise has been a bit louder than normal on this ride um, I've been uh, riding quite a lot without a camera fitted recently just enjoying getting out on the motorcycles and all that um, wowzers, traffic, joy, favourite bit of road, ruined uh, grr, arc. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. so uh, if it is a bit more windy noise um, I do apologise, I'll work it out and get the microphone put back in the position it was in before um, but yeah, it's what it is Jesus, 20 miles an hour well done cars, well done lorries you're good at this <laughs> what a beautiful beautiful day it's absolutely stunning oh, I love our summer I'll never ever moan about it being too hot in this country even when I feel like it sometimes is because it so rarely is it's a treat you should enjoy it, relish it it will be grey and miserable before you know it and then you'll be whinging it's too cold too wet too miserable so you've got to enjoy this sunshine you've got to enjoy this sunshine while you can oh a tunnel absolutely pointless on this point doing tunnel time at the moment but that does remind me i did get an email the other day on an update on an order for this motorcycle i've ordered the arrow full system for it so uh, yeah i ordered it ages ago and it was supposed to be here over a week ago which obviously didn't happen but they did send me a message saying that they are expecting it in soon so I am very much looking forward to getting some noise on this bike I love the induction noise of it but I've kind of almost become desensitised to that now um, and it is glorious at slow speeds but you get so much wind noise once you're going a bit faster because of the fairing that you can't really enjoy it quite so much for you it might not be such an issue you might be able to hear it well um, but for me in the helmet it's it is it's quite a lot of wind noise a Lumi's motor cafe we are in you oh yeah let's go find some foods I 
I am hungry. I'm a hungry hippo. Well, thank you, Loomis. That's one full belly and another reason why I'm not losing any weight. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go explore. Well, we'll say let's get all explore. I'm going to get all explore. Um, yeah, you're not. You've got to go and explore yourself. Go find your own adventures. Because, uh, yeah, I think this video is probably long enough. It's long enough. I've bored you. I've taken you way too far out of your day. So, yes, I'm going to go off and play. I'm going to turn the cameras off and uh, uh, do my own thing for a little bit. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you've not done so already, click that subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you didn't, you can always give it a little thumbs down. I don't mind at all. It's all cool in the school. But please do drop in a comment. Very much love hearing from you. So anyway, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get past this car anytime soon. So you ride safe. Take care. And I shall catch you all in the next one. And bye bye for now. Oh yeah, I can pass it. Hey, no, you gotta keep that by. Rubber side down. <laughs>